Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Man, he just starts out with the dialogue right away there. I won't lose this time. Not with the full power of my gorgeous deck. Mint, would you like to change your deck? I am not gonna change my deck. But just as a reminder, oops, no 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 no. Yeah. Just as a reminder, I am gonna use the swift deck again. So now you know. Let's a go. Okay then, you may start the battle against Jack. What would you like? I suggest six prize cards. You didn't really give me a choice, did you? Okay, fine. Well, it's the Water Legend deck, and it uses, of course, the legendary Articuno, which can freeze, well, I should say cause paralysis, to my Pokémon when it's put into play. And Oh no, not this again. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't be another Steve situation. <laughs> okay, that jinx will be. The jinx will be okay. So the quick freeze. This is it right here. If heads, I'm per. Uh, Spiro is paralyzed, and that is a no go. It's uh, a psychic type technically, but it uses water energy, as you know. But it, you know, it does damage as if it's a psychic type. So yeah. The Ice Punch hits for the Tenna, and yeah, it's weak to Lightning, not weak to Psychic, so... Um... Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna actually... Wait, actually, is it? Yeah, no resistance on that Jinx. So I might just go ahead and swap over there. And I also might put, use Defender for the Cold Breath. Just to prevent damage here, so... Yeah, <laughs> and then start the jabbing. There we go. So thank you for coming up there, Hitmonchan. I appreciate it. We don't want to. Ooh, we don't want to have uh, that sort of issue like we did with Steve. And let it be known that my battle with Steve that would have never worked against a regular human <laughs> ever. <laughs> Uh, I think I would have went for the paralysis instead of the sleep, in all honesty. Because, yeah, I have a chance to wake up when it comes to sleep, but if it, if Ice Punch actually hit and, you know, it caused me paralysis, I wouldn't be able to flip a coin to get out of that, so... I think that was another little AI hiccup. Um, yeah, let's jab. <laughs> and see how things roll. Hopefully, oh, another version of Articuno hanging out there. But not to the legendary Arti Okay, you're putting that out for the resistances. Uh. Hmm. Much up. Um. I should probably. Probably. Maybe. Get the Spearow going. And then start attacking with that. Because if I just attack with uh, Hitmonchan, it's only going to do nothing with this. And then it'll only do 10 at a time as I'm attacking with the uh, uh, special punch. So, yeah, let's not uh, let's not mess around too much with that and just kind of power up who I need to power up, you know? <laughs> uh, oh, actually. Yeah, that drill dive. I may. <laughs> I think I will! <laughs> so I'm gonna go... Well, actually, I should probably plop that on there. Retreat for two, Dark Fearow, and then attack with the Fly High. That will double the damage of the Drill Dive, so there's no escape for that Articuno. Why would you attach an energy if you're... <laughs> Alright, fine, fine. You want me to knock out the Articuno that badly? Sure. Sure, and your energy, sure, sure. <laughs> we'll, we'll just assume that's what you really wanted me to do. <laughs> oh, and yes, I cannot do any sort of attacks on the next turn because the Drill Dive locks me out from doing so as if it is a Hyper Beam. And I also can't retreat with Dark Furo as well, so I might as well go ahead and get something going there. See? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I'm just gonna skip that, and I'll probably just go for the, uh, well, assuming I'm not confused, I was gonna say I probably should just go for the Drill Dive, because Drill Dive will at least let me do 40 damage right away. So yeah, uh, I mean, I could speed it along by kind of maybe, oh, I could scoop up and then surprise attack at Voltorb if I get confused. 
Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I think I could actually drill dive anyway then, and then just finish it off with the Voltorb as a surprise next turn. I'll lose my Fero, and of course the energy attached to it, but yeah, yeah. Because I was going to say, if, if it gets confused, it's, it's kind of risky to attack with it anyway, so yeah, scoop up. Kind of gets around that restriction of not being able to switch, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, now I should probably... Probably hope for some more lightning Pokemon. I have a decent amount in the deck, which is kind of kind of lacking at the moment. Uh, is there any real threat to my Voltorb? Maybe the Jinx? But then I could just evolve and yeah, move the energy around, you know, using Dark Electrode. So I think I'm good. I'll just use Speedball for now and call it a turn. Articuno of the regular extended variety, not the legendary variety. I, I think he's waiting to scoop this up, because yeah, this the quick freeze. It, yeah, yeah, probably. And Ice Breath, you can do 40 to your opponent's Pokemon at random. So it's, yeah, it's another one of those Game Boy type effects. But at least it's just your opponent's Pokemon, and not anything. Like that abysmal Zapdos. <laughs> uh... Well, if this Articuno is not going to be attacking for a while, I could probably just relax and speedball the whole way through. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's going to take four turns to power it up. And he's it looks like he's kind of lacking in energy based on the way that he's playing here, so... Yeah! Let's just kind of give everyone a little bit of energy while I nick away at this Articuno. That sounds like a strategy. Ooh, double colorless to speed things along, but... It still requires two more energy, so it means two more turns. So what you might be planning on doing is switching. Hello there, Electabuzz. That will help greatly against the water Pokemon. And Speedball. So let's see if he does a switch. He's probably going to do water energy. Yeah. And now the switch. Oh, yeah, actually, he can only choose the water energy because he's only got water in his deck that he can pull with that. Oh, no switch. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, uh, now that I got Professor Hulk, the options have expanded a little bit here. Uh, I don't think I should do that just yet. Uh, I'll just speedball. Because, <laughs> yeah, I just want to keep attacking with Voltor, because the thing about if I use Electrode is that I'll have to move the energy to another Pokemon, and then I'll be able to... Yeah, I won't be able to do damage quite as quickly. Because I might just not have the lightning energy that I need. He's gonna have the energy he needs, though. <laughs> you didn't play anything after Professor Oki? Hmm. Alright. So you're getting the speedball. <laughs> Alright, so... I'm sure he's got energy, it just... Yeah, I don't... well... Hmm... It's just a thing of... what is he holding in his hand that, that could be... important? I'm trying to think of his deck layout. Hmm... Well, for now, I should definitely set that up as such and speedball. Voila! And... Billa! He's just bolstering his power, super energy removal for what? Hitmonchan, really? That's... You got Articuno, is Hitmonchan really that big of a threat? Are we just gonna use the Hitmonchan on stuff that isn't resistant to fighting? Well, I guess maybe it is, because... Yeah, Jinx, Magikarp, Krabby, all are, uh... Gonna... could be special punched. Hmm... Maybe that was a good move, I don't know. <laughs> Um, ooh, Pokemon Trader. That is tempting. I want to put this back in the deck so I can draw it back later. And then... No, 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 actually, yes, Electabuzz. <laughs> Grab another one of these bad boys. And then we'll be Professor Oak. <laughs> so then we can possibly draw that Dark Electrode again later on. Maybe we got it? No, that's okay. Got a bunch more hit my channel. <laughs> but I'm actually more concerned about Electabuzz. Because, you know, 
Lightning Pokemon versus Water is pretty nice, but Hitmonchan is nothing to sneeze at either. And Magikarp is getting to be a little bit gyarados isn't it? Should I gust the wind into that Magikarp to, to knock it out right away? I'm thinking I should. <laughs> um, I think I will. <laughs> And then we're gonna go plop this on, yeah, I guess go for that, and speedball double damage for 40, instant KO. Yeah, I think it's he's just having bad draws, because he just doesn't seem to be able to do very much in general. Scooping up the Jinx. Oh no, he's gonna cause some paralysis, okay, well maybe cause some paralysis. Or maybe not yet. Okay, there we go. <laughs> And by the way, that Lapras is Lapras that I said is probably the best version of Lapras. Hiccup, excuse me, best version of Lapras. Because it's got the water gun that you can power up to 30, which is handy just in general for such a high basic Pokemon. Uh, of course, take 3 energy for 30, which is iffy, but you've got Confusory along the way for 2. And then just the water gun for 1 regardless. I'll give you a little peek -see at that Lapras here really quick. Yeah, it's the Fossil Lapras. Say so that, 10 for every, I mean, 10 extra damage for each water, but not more than 20. And there's the Confuse Array, but 80 HP, that makes it a pretty tricky little critter. But anyway, um, I guess if you want to knock out my Voltorb, you can. Just, I mean, I, I did plan on getting Electrode out, but... It's not that big of a deal if I don't. I got enough <laughs> power going along here, so... Yeah, I think we're, we're okay, even with the cold breath KOing the Voltorb. Uh -huh. And... And... Oh, what should I... Of course it's gonna be Electabuzz. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape. Even the... Yeah, like, that's not a true one-hit KO move on the Krabby, so... I think we are gonna win this, probably. Pop that there, maybe get another Hitmonchan going. And, yeah, just Thundershock, because I don't want to possibly cause 10 to myself, when I just need 10 to knock out the Jinx, so... There we go! Are... Really? But you can't switch that out very easily. Huh? Well, I suppose it does have the most HPs and no weakness to anything, so maybe that is the best, but that that that, oops, that retreat cost is two, and that could be an issue for you. <laughs> anyway, I guess I'll go with a fresh Hitmonchan, I guess I'll try and put as much pressure on him as I can, even if it possibly causes me a little damage like that. Because, well, I just need one more prize card, so... Ooh, there's the big boy! <laughs> uh, so he's probably... Well, I was gonna say, if he, if he switches to that, that might not be that big of a deal. And yeah, it's got weakness to grass instead of lightning. But I've got a pretty good arsenal going on here. Mm-hmm. And heads, please. Thank you. That means I'll be able to knock out Articuno on the next turn unless he can switch... somehow. Uh, there it is! Okay, so he did have that plan. <laughs> I think I would have done the same thing if I was in his spot, uh, his spot uh, thinking about what he had on the field and whatnot. And no confusion, so if I get a head flip, I win. Because plus power will not actually KO it. it yeah, because it'll only do... 70 with the plus power, because it's double damage, and then plus the plus power. Uh, what do you say? Get a special punch ready, and head flip, head flip, head flip. Yeah! Victory is mine! <laughs> that will do. Yeah, the plus power is just... I don't know. <laughs> just just kind of plopped it on there. <laughs> Alright! That is a winner! I think my gorgeous deck could be so easily bested, yet it's true! Your power is just as impressive as I had expected it to be. Thank you, thank you. Mint, as usual, you played wonderfully. It's time for you to face off against me. This is the last battle of the final cup. Mint, would you like to change your deck? Why, yes! <laughs> and save my game! 
<laughs> actually, um, I, I should actually change my deck. I'm gonna select the Stop It deck, because it's got a lot of fires, and it's pretty good with the energy removal tactics against his deck, so yeah, and you know what? <laughs> One more time, just so I don't forget to switch decks in case I somehow fail this, so here we go. Mint, would you like to change your deck? Nay. Set aside your six prize cards. I won't let the Pokemon cards of Legend go so easily. Well, technically, didn't Mint beat you guys before and did get the cards, but yet lost them because of Team GR or eh, well, whatever. Anyways, the Dragon Theme Tech. It's got the Charizards. It's got the Dragonites. He's got Dragon Scales in the background, and no. Yeah, he's also got the Dragonair that can suck out energy. And oh yeah, yeah, see that dark Dragonair? It doesn't have those weird symbols next to its name. I don't know what happened at last time, but anyway. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the, the idea of it is that he powers up some really powerful attacks. And, well, that's pretty much it. And if he can't power up those powerful attacks, like from Charizard and the Dragonite, Dragonair, and stuff like that, he's kind of stuck. So, with energy removal, I think you see what I'm going for here. <laughs> Alright, so let's begin the slapping. And I wonder if I should just immediately start energy removaling. <laughs> should I? I mean, I have Professor Oak to get another one soon enough. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> and slap. Yeah, I got so much energy removal in the deck that you can almost be sure you're gonna have one in your hand at some point to mess with the opponent, so... Yeah, I, I'd probably stuff all the energy removal I can in this deck if I could. Uh, I know what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do that. You know, Pokemon Trader. We're going to swap the Starmie and go into a seal. See what I'm, see what I'm doing here? <laughs> Setting up the Dugong and then you're just going to kind of skip the turn. Like, I'm, I'm getting the whole hand all, all set up here. <laughs> just, to make, just to make them think. That, that, that everything is alright with my weaklings, and then suddenly Professor Oak just devastates everything. <laughs> I just got the Starmie back that I traded back in there. <clears throat> alright, so... Well, I guess maybe I should have slapped on the last turn, I don't know. Ooh, that's a nice setup. I got another Slapper. I got a potential Wiggly coming. I got a powerful bird. Mmm, I could, I could have maybe not used both Star U, but still, that's not bad. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go plop that on Dugong, and end it off. It looks like he's just gonna keep fetching cards, and that's his idea. At least as of right now, so... I think we're... Ooh, he might have a Charizard! Ooh! <laughs> maybe he does, maybe he doesn't, I don't know. But I know I'm gonna get energy removal eventually, so that might not be that big of a factor. Oh yeah, and he's also got Scyther. He doesn't actually have Grass Energy to use the Swords Dance, but uh, the, it's basically like a Splashable because of the colorless uh, Slash, so yeah. Mm. I think I should actually plop some of these out here. I don't know why I held on to that. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that is the Charizard, alright! <laughs> it's a promotional diff alternate artwork version of it, but it's actually the same Charizard with energy burn and whatnot, so I would most likely want uh, energy removal that before he gets a little bit on the hasty side, you know what I mean? But anyway, for now, I guess I'll start with the star freezing since I've got one energy away from Dugong anyway. So, you know, Dugong being able to attack rapidly. So let's get on with getting on. Ooh, yes! And I really should put double colorless energy in this deck, but I, don't know, I just kind of kept them with the Charizard and Scyther, I guess. Because, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just, double colorless is just such a handy card for so many things. I, I just, how do you know what deck to put it in if you only have a limited amount of them, you know? <laughs> Super energy <laughs> removal. He is not going to be happy about this one. They're going to discard that from Dugong. Get rid of the double colorless and the fire energy. 
And start freeze. So yeah, that sets him back three turns, unless he has another double colorless. But chances are he doesn't. <laughs> otherwise he would. Oh, he does. I was gonna say otherwise he. Oh, he put it on the Charmander instead of the Char. Really? Instead of the Charizard. Hmm. I wonder what he's going for there. Unless he's just going for another Charizard just on the side. Hmm. Hmm. It's really tempting to wipe out the energy of Dratini because of the possible possibility of Hyper Beam later. But we should probably see how that goes first. Because we're, we're in decent shape with Starmie here, so... I think we'll just knock out the Kangaskhan. Yes! <laughs> and we will, uh... Call it a turn. So yeah, he's, he's going for another Charizard. So... Well, he's somewhere around there, unless he's just going for the, uh... Flamethrower attack, that might be a possibility as well. Um... I should probably do that and then wipe out the Charmeleons. I know, I know. <laughs> He's probably just fuming, but still. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to win. <laughs> and a little pounding for the Starmie. And, well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll do that, and yeah, so now both Charizard as well as Charmeleon are three energy away from being able to attack, aside from uh, Charmeleon maybe with the uh, double colorless dealio, uh, and possibly Charizard as well, but he already used two double colorless energies, so, oh, there's the third. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so maybe we still have a game going on here. Uh, let's do that and then do the Star Freeze. I could, would I, um, like, s switch into Dugong if I want to really knock out Scyther quickly. But I think I'm going to just kind of stick with this because they're doing pretty well. And I don't think that they're going to be that much of a threat considering anything that I switch in that has enough energy is just going to kind of blow them away as long as it's got water, so, you know, I mean, it's a water element. So, yeah. Just keep on star freezing, and see what he's got. Oh, second Charizard on the field. If I, <laughs> I get a Professor Oak, that would be kind of, kind of sad, wouldn't it? <laughs> Alright, you can go ahead and knock out the star with the big old fire spin. See, you notice he discarded the two fire energy instead of the double colorless. I taught you that before, because double cut this only counts as one energy card. And now let's do 100 damage back to Charizard, with double damage. Plop that on Articuno. Um, yeah, Aurora Beam. And that will take care of the big lizard soon. <laughs> Master Ball for the Dark Dragonair. I, I don't know. I, mm. I don't know if, what, what, why wouldn't you go for the regular Dragonair over the... I don't know, you must have some sort of plan, but I'm pretty sure that the regular Dragonair is the only thing he's got that'll lead to uh, uh, the legendary Dragonite, which he's not drawn, which has got Healing Wind, which heals all Pokemon in play on his side for 20 HP. Generally, you're not going to get a lot of heals with that, like you'll heal maybe 40 to 60. But, you know, it takes a bunch to actually get there to begin with, so... Anyway, Aurora Beam. <laughs> and that takes care of the big lizard. Dratini is kind of like the forefront shield. I guess you could say, so to speak, because he's kind of low on energy. Water energy should probably go on the Articuno. I should probably get that going there, too, in the future. And yeah, let's swipe that Dratini right off the table. And into the discard pile, which I guess is still kind of on the table, so maybe that, that saying meant nothing. <laughs> uh, he's trying to do some damage here, but I think it, it might be a little too late. Although, although I thought it was too late in the battle versus Steve. And, uh... Well, <laughs> you see how that went. <laughs> And uh, it's putting up the Charizard, likely as a damage sponge, because it can take two attacks. 
I think he's gonna switch it on the next turn. Probably. Uh, oh, there's a bill here. If I get an energy removal, that could be it. Oh! <laughs> Two in a row. See, Charizard's got a uh, three retreat cost, so if I only removed one energy, he might still be able to retreat with a double colorless. Not anymore! <laughs> and Dragonair, Roar Beam, let's go. And this could very well be his last turn. He's like, yep, yeah, I accept my fates with that face. <laughs> I got Wiggly Tough too. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, that's just a roar beam. But I'm out of his misery. I just <laughs> Energy removal was way too powerful versus his deck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that was like the, the perfect deck to face his, his with. Amazing, Mint. You played wonderfully. Thank you, thank you. And you know, I technically did not have to save at all between duels, but... <laughs> That's how things roll. You just never know if you're gonna have one of those really bad draws at the start and then just get wiped. You're the only suitable player to have the Pokemon Cards of Legend. Not you four? Um, you probably have like 800 copies. And you're just giving me a couple copies to keep, to keep the rest in your your collections and decks and stuff. <laughs> Here, I probably confer the Pokemon Cards of Legend to you. I got a Moltres level 40. And I already went over this bad boy with the whole Fire Giver. 1 to 4, chosen at random, and Dive Bomb, which may do nothing. Zapdos, one of the worst cards ever. <laughs> it even did Steven. <laughs> Should have went with some other Pokemon. Should have went with some other Pokemon. And Articuno, though, here is pretty good because of that instant possible freeze when it comes into play, and Ice Breath is makes basically no escape for the opponent's, opponent's Pokemon, as you've seen. And this is the Dragonite that you did not see him be able to play. Level 41, Legendary Dragonite. See Healing Wind, remove two damage counters from each of your Pokemon. But chances are, as I said, you're probably not going to have that many Pokemon with that many damage counters. So while it could heal up to 120, chances are you're probably going to heal like... 40 to 60 or somewhere around there. And then Slam is like a typical Slam of a Dragonair. Two, two, two coins, tax, three damage times number of heads, but 100 HP, which is pretty nice. Uh, it's not that bad. Probably the best version of Dragonite, but I still prefer <laughs> Dragonair's Hyper Beam because of the energy removal properties. With those, Mint, fearlessly enter GR Castle. I shall. <laughs> Once there, meet with Team GR's leader, King Villasini. Well, after getting through his two lackeys, but actually we went through a lot of lackeys, so... <laughs> I figure that's the only way to make Team GR change their terrible ways. The other Grandmasters and I are looking forward to that change. We're all, we'll all finally be able to play cards with Team GR peacefully. Do your best, Mint. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, man! Oh, man! <laughs> now everything is all locked up. And since I got the cards of legend, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part, and I gotta kinda build a new deck with the legendary cards, because, you know, they need me to have one, and yeah, I'll do that off camera, so maybe it just won't be in the next part. I'll use the new deck in the next part, though. That's, that's actually what I mean. <laughs>